What's going on y'all, it's the Kid J. Nolan here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I hate that I even am making this video, but some things need to be said. Some things need to be put into perspective about not just hip hop, but just the young people coming up today, man. The youth, the guys that are 25 and under, y'all are getting involved in some real dangerous shit, man. A lot of y'all are trying to join these gangs, join these little cliques, really rap groups, but y'all trying to live the lifestyle of what you putting down on wax. It's getting a lot of y'all whacked along the way. A lot of y'all are playing these games. Y'all posting up with a lot of these guns, these sticks, and y'all making it look real glamorous. Like that's the life y'all really want to be living. Nobody in their right mind should want to live that lifestyle. The people that y'all looked up to that was living that way was trying to get the fuck out of it. Okay. I ain't got no time to sugarcoat this shit. Cause a young man life been lost Two young men life have been lost for absolutely nothing. But let's get into the story. So there's an up and coming rapper by the name of BTB Savage. I did see his interview with DJ Vlad go up this week. And I was like, why would somebody be talking about killing somebody? You know what I mean? Like, why would you do an interview talking about a murder you committed? I was very confused when I seen it. Didn't watch it. Now I might actually have to watch it to understand what the hell is really going on. But nonetheless, let us continue. So BTB Savage is an up and coming rapper from San Antonio, Texas. Earlier this week, like I said, he was on DJ Vlad. He did an interview talking about a, uh, a, an attempted robbery in which his girlfriend actually shot and killed the assailant. He was also shot in the process. Uh, I guess she just was like letting that thing rip and he got hit. So his arm was like in a full cast. BTB Savage said that he was approached by a man that was asking to do a musical collaboration, noting that this man had requested multiple times to work together. He said when the man arrived at his home studio, he did not arrive alone and was accompanied by an older individual, but he let the pair into his apartment anyway. So he was met by two people. He described having a weird feeling about the two men, the man he knew and the man's uncle, but he continued with the plan to record this music. Eventually, the rapper says the younger man was told to go out to the car to get some music equipment, which he did, prompting BTB Savage to lock the door out of nervousness. So he started, his spider sense, it started tingling. After he locked the door, he ended up getting into some sort of confrontation with the older individual. This man was said to be 34 years old. He ended up pulling out his gun and demanding him to hand over his jewelry, setting off a cascade of gunfire between the two visiting men and BTB's girlfriend. He says that he was wrestling with dude. He had allegedly had two guns on him while telling his girlfriend to shoot. During this encounter, BTB Savage says that she shot the would-be thief multiple times, but also shot the rapper in the elbow. Like I was saying, he had that cast on. He noted that it was the first time either of them had ever shot somebody. He also believes that the rapper that initially came to his house to do the collaboration, that the one that he locked out, was also exchanging fire through the door. Eventually, BTB Savage and his girlfriend were able to leave the apartment, get their child out of the apartment as well, and also get him to the hospital so that he could get his arm tended to. BTB was saying that he was interviewed by the police about the incident and he was not arrested or charged due to self-defense. Following that, uh, he ended up putting a photo of himself on social media. You can see his full cast on his arm. He's standing inside the apartment where the blood has been spilt all over the floor, all over the door. There's holes in the door where you can see fire was going back and forth. Uh, he decided he wanted to release this photo online. It went viral. Unfortunately, that was the last photo that he got to post online before his life was tragically taken shortly thereafter. In this photo, you can see him flashing his watch, his chain, his jewelry. I don't understand what the purpose was in posting this, even taking the photo. Why would you do this? It makes me extremely uncomfortable to even be talking about this and be looking at this. I saw this on Twitter and was like, what the hell am I looking at? not even knowing that this young man is now gone himself. ABC has released reports that he was fired upon in his vehicle around 6 p.m. on Thursday of this week in the River Oak area of Houston. So he was living in San Antonio. I guess he went away to Houston. Maybe he had an engagement out there or something. Maybe he ran out there to seek some sort of asylum and safety during the time while it was hot. I'm not sure. But the Houston police do believe that this was a targeted crime. Okay. This was not random. This was not something that just happened. They believe that he was definitely targeted on purpose. Houston TV station KPRC identified and reported today that uh, there were dozens of bullet cases at the scene of a drive-by shooting where the rapper was killed by people 
wearing black sweatshirts and sunglasses in a black Subaru. This is what's been released. And hopefully for those of y'all watching, I'm sure nobody watching my channel actually lives this lifestyle, but if it just happens to come across your feed and you are living this lifestyle, bruh, it's about time to let the slime, the savage, all this so-called gangster shit, let that shit go, man. Y'all losing y'all lives at an alarming rate. Y'all not even making it to C25, 30. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be trying to joke about old heads, old heads, this old head, that, man. You would be blessed to see what old head life is like. You should want to see what your children's future has in store for them. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be losing your life while your child is still an infant, a toddler. Now you leaving behind your girl to be a single mother. What is she going to do? You were the breadwinner. You're a so-called rapper in your city. You got all these jewels and all this type of stuff. You the one that's bringing everything in. What is she supposed to do? What is the child supposed to do at this point? Y'all got to start thinking, man. Y'all got to start living for something bigger than yourself, bigger than what it is that you see in your surroundings, bigger than what you see in these lame ass rap videos that y'all keep on circulation on YouTube all day and weak ass playlists y'all be making. I hate to be on y'all head like this, but it's what needs to be said, man. I ain't too much older than y'all. I just turned 34, man. I've been in hip hop all my life. I've been intrigued by it. I've been obsessed with it. I understand every rapper that I grew up listening to had some sort of street background. I understand it. But, bro, we in 2023. There's too many educational outlets out there. There's too many ebooks, webinars, courses to get educated, to learn a trade, learn a skill. There's too many things out there for you to learn how to be a better rapper, a better businessman in the music field. It makes absolutely no sense, man. Y'all want to talk about money so much. So, why isn't money motivating you guys to live a more productive lifestyle so that you can get to the money and actually enjoy it. The code of ethics is not making sense to me in no type of way, man. Y'all young niggas got to tighten up, man. Y'all want the money, y'all want the women, but how you supposed to live to enjoy the fruits of any of that? Y'all playing a risky game and you gonna throw it all away for what? To entertain people online? Is that what's really doing it for y'all? Posting pictures? That's what's satisfying you at the end of the day. Letting niggas think that you slime, that you a thug, that you this and that. Now they gonna be saying, oh man, he was a real one. Oh man, shout out my bro. Them niggas not your bros, homie. They never was, never will be, never could be. I do wanna take a moment to go ahead and say rest in peace to BTB Savage. Uh, it's a shame that you didn't get the opportunity to see life for what it really is to see the fruits of your labor as a hip hop artist, to see that there's light at the end of the tunnel on the other side. My condolences to your family and your loved ones and those that are left here to pick up the pieces while you're gone. It's all an unfortunate situation and I must say the same to the other victims family as well. Let me know what y'all think of this crazy shit down below in the comments, man. Share this video, like and share this video if you choose. And uh, if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the post notification bell for all updates. I'll see y'all later, man. Much love and respect y'all. Peace.